Five, four, three, two, one. Thunderbirds are go. Right, Father. When I got to the scene of the fire, they'd managed to get it under control. So it seemed best to leave them to it. That's right, son. Not too many casualties, I hope. No, I don't think so. The police controller assured me that it wasn't as bad as first appeared. Fine, fine. Well, as soon as you get back, I want you to take Alan up to the satellite. Vincent's packing his bag now. Will do, Father. Base from Thunderbird 1. I'm under attack from three unidentified aircraft and taking evasive action. What can have happened? Thunderbird 1 from base. Thunderbird 1 from base. Repeat. Can you hear me? Nothing. Base, Thunderbird 1. Base, from Thunderbird 1. Come in, please. Uh, radio smashed, darn it. Well, I, I suppose I better take a look outside. Side of anything. I ain't particular. 5,000 miles from base, and the radio's dead. Ow! 
<sighs> some crack I got. I think I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna... Just spoken to brains. What's happened, Father? It's serious, I'm afraid, Virgil. Scott was on his way back from the Tokyo fire when he was surrounded by some unidentified aircraft. It looks as though he's been shot down. But the radio. What about the radio? Oh, Virgil. It's gone dead. He, he won't answer. Well, I plotted his position, Father. He can't have got far away from his last contact point. Right, Virgil. There's not a moment to lose. Off you go. Right, Father. I heard that, uh, uh, Mr. Tracy. Uh, I I've selected the part we shall need. No, Tintin, it's out of the question. You can't go. This will be no trip for you. But, Mr. Tracy, what good reason can there Tintin, be? Tintin, there's no knowing what Virgil and Brains are going to find when they get there. We can't ignore the possibility of another attack. What they're going to find out there is Scott wounded, but perhaps critically. He's going to need all the attention that international rescue can give him. All right, Tintin. You'd better get ready. Launching of Thunderbird 2 is in four minutes. Two thousand five hundred feet and leveling out, Father. All right, Virgil. Good luck. Some mystery, this, Father. Yes, son, it sure is. I only hope Virgil's not going to be too late. I just wish I knew what it was made these men shoot Scott down like that. Maybe they thought he was some kind of spy and, and was going to... Oh, excuse me, Alan. I just thought I heard a signal. Gee, I, I wish I could figure what had happened to him. It must be kind of hot out there in that sun. Yeah. And not a single solitary soul within miles. Down, Wilson. You gotta treat this son with respect. Respect? I hate the sight of it. <laughs> 